Hello, guys. Good evening. How is everybody doing? How are you guys? Hello, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How was your weekend? Very good. Was it good? Nice. Nice. So, it's been such a busy day. How was work, Alejandro? Welcome. Um, Blanca, Blanca, nice to see you again, Blanca. Thanks so much, teacher. Nice. Um, Janet, welcome, Lenin, Alejandra, Mirna, Jocelyn, Sonia. <clears throat> nice to see you here, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, so how was, uh, how was work? How was, how was your day today? The day to day in the world, every yes. day is uh, mm, the intense. The, the work is uh, mm, exciting sometimes. Um, for the moment, teacher, I a little. I I wonder if. Uh, I could just listen to class um, cows. I have some different flu symptoms like cough, um, sore throat, and uh, general pain in all my body. Uh, at least oh, uh, really? I don't have I don't have fever. For this reason, I seem so it's okay. <laughs> okay, all right. I mean, if you need to rest, go ahead, rest. All right, I, I don't want to, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Um, if you need anything, let me know, okay? And, mm, so and um, so we're going to start, guys. Um, we have a lot of material to cover. And uh, I just want to make sure that everybody joins. So I'm going to send a message. How about the Blanca? Nice to see you again, Blanca. How are you? Long time no see. How's everything going, Blanca? I think I think your microphone is not working. Yes, Blanca, you you are muted. Excuse me. There you go, Blanca. How are you? Uh, hi. Good evening, teacher. Uh, my internet uh, is in in unstable. Unstable. Um. Yes, um, um, uh, uh -huh. uh, excuse me, I am hoping until now because I was um, op operated on, on one uh, knee. Oh, really? So, yeah. You I had a surgery. A okay. Yes. Right. That is how you say it. You say, I had a surgery. I had a surgery. I'm sending, I'm sending the, the, uh, the spelling yes. uh, um, in the chat, okay? All right. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Are, how are you feeling? Are, are you better now? Excuse me, teacher. So, so how are you feeling? Are, are you better now? Are you feeling better now? Good. Yeah. All right, I'm glad that you're yes. here. Anyways, guys, so I see that uh, we have more people joining over. Um, Myrna, Jocelyn, nice to see you again. Francisco, Lenin, Alejandro, Sonia. All right, let's get started, guys, okay? Today, guys, we are going to talk about, um, about uh, using keep and need plus gerunds and passive infinitives, okay? So that's the topic for today, guys, okay? So, um, so this is where we're gonna go over, guys. Uh, well, we'll we'll go over the objectives. Uh, we're gonna learn how to describe problems using the topic, uh, using today's topic, and um, we're gonna learn about key plus gerunds and need, you know, plus uh, plus infinitives. Um, 
plus passive infinitives, right? We're going to have some practice and we're going to go over the platform, right? We're going to go the answers from section number one. So as I previously stated, guys, in, in the first class, I think I brought this up in the first class, um, I'm going to help you with the platform, okay? So I know that you send messages, all of that, right? But we're going to see them here after you have finished them all, okay? So uh, let's get started then, all right? So what's today's objective? Who'd like to help me read? All right, I don't know. Uh, it's a Kalena, I right? think you're, you're helping me, but you're, you're muted. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, objective. Participants will listen to conversation about problems. See, keep and kneel with germs and kneel with passive infinitives in context. Thank you, thank you very much. Repeat <coughs> objective, not objective, objective. Objective. All right, very good. And uh, all right, that's it, okay. Very good guys, okay. So uh, this, is, this is the most important thing, right? conversations about problems all right and we're gonna see uh, i'm sorry they mean to erase that uh keep a need with gerunds and and need all right with passing infinitives okay so how do we use them into context okay so first of guys let's see what you know let's uh hold on let me go back a little bit okay all right before we we jump into this guys what's a, what's a gerund who can give me an example of a gerund guys what do you think? Running. Very good. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, a gerund would be running. Good job. Uh, what else? Thank you, Marina. What else? What else do we have? Working, uh, sleeping. Working, sleeping, cooking. cooking. All right. Very good, guys. So, all right. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Very good. So, uh, what do you say? Walking. Okay. Very good. So, uh, this is a gerund, right? The, the, the ing form of a verb and what is an infinitive guys to walk to walk to swim all right it's actually you don't need to use like walk swim uh-huh work sleep cook all right uh sleep cook walk okay very good okay uh let's change this for run okay run all right, and here work. Okay. All right. So this is the infinitive form. So what is a passive infinitive? Run. Run. Okay. I mean, run. Run is an infinitive, right? So what is a passive infinitive? What the what does pass uh, passive passive remind you of? This right here, passive. Do you remember reported speech or you have not seen that topic yet? Not reported speech? All right, guys. So, so this you guys know, right? I and mean, a passive infinitive, guys, is the infinitive form. And um, we are using uh, past participles, okay? So then the third form of the verb, guys, right? It's, uh, it's a past participle. And what is an example of a past participle? Using was. No, oh, a past participle, okay. What is a past participle of run? Run. What's running? It's run. run. The past participle of run is run. What about work? Worked. Worked, not worked, worked. All right, work. so it's it's worked, okay. All right, very good. What about sleep? Slept. Slept. All right, slept. slept. Very good. What about cook? Sleep. Cook. 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 Cooked. 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 Very good. Right. Remember, it's cook and then use it. Right. Coronavirus. Right. Cooked. All right. Very good. Um. What about walk? Walked. Walk. Walked. Right. Very good. Okay. So these are the past participle forms. Okay. And why is that important, guys? Because this is what we're going to use when we talk about passive infinitives, okay? But first off, okay, let's let's take a look, guys. Let's let's take a look at why or how actually we use um, you know we use these to uh, we use this guys to describe problems, okay? Because at the end of the day, guys, okay. So why am I learning this? Why are you learning this? 
why are we learning, guys, how to use keep endurance and keep in, in pass and infinities? Why? What do you think? To do what? To be able to what, guys? To describe the problems. Beautiful, okay, right? To be able to describe problems, guys, okay? All right, so this is the importance is that this is the reason why you are learning. Well, you're going to learn the importance of using keep, keep plus gerunds or keep plus passive infinitives, okay? Because we have to learn how to describe problems, okay? All right, remember, like, I don't know, maybe, um, you know, your toxic or toxic, right, won't allow you to go out and you want to go out, right? And then you want to describe this problem to, <clears throat> to your I don't, I don't know, to your best friend, right? How do you say, how do you say, um, ah, vieras, mi, mi esposo, mi esposa, nunca me deja salir, siempre que quiero, right? Siempre que quiero, me, me dice que no. How do you say that? How do you explain that, right? <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a sad story, guys. Don't do that, right? Let them, let them, let them out, okay? Let them go out, all right? So that's the reason, that's why this is important, guys, okay? All right? So, um, so how do you do that? Okay, let's take a look at the first example. Okay, uh, keep plus a gerund. Okay, so uh, this is a structure, guys. Real simple, right? You just keep and you use a gerund. Okay, so now you're gonna learn, guys, as we move along, that this is used, guys, to talk about repetitive actions. Okay, what are we using it for? Action. Repetitive actions, right? For example, okay, the example I gave you, right? So how will you say, um, how will you say, um, maybe you have a nice toxic or toxic, all right? How do you say, que te pasa cocinando todos los días? Tu tóxico, how do you say that? He has, he has been cooking every day. All right, you say, it doesn't exist, right? No, I'm kidding, guys. That's not how you say it. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Anyways, okay, right. <laughs> All right, no, guys, okay, right? So that, okay, we can say he keeps cooking every day. See? Easy, right? He keeps cooking every day, right? He keeps cooking me dinner every day. Okay, is that true? Is that is that your case, Kalina? Kalina? <laughs> I don't know, right? Or maybe, maybe you know, it's the opposite, right? You have a, a real toxic relationship. <laughs> All right, and then you don't say he keeps cooking. Every, he cooks and cooking. Cook, well, he keeps cooking for me, guys. Okay, because if I say he cook, keeps cooking me, it sounds like he's cooking you. You know, like you are. You're what he's gonna eat, right? Um, anyways, that sounds. Anyways, guys, so uh, he keeps cooking for me, right? What else can we say, guys? Okay, what about? Um, I don't know. Who wants to be my volunteer, guys? To be used as an example. She she keeps. Uh, she keeps. Doing exercise. Very good. She day. keeps doing. Very good. She keeps doing exercise every day. Right? This is a good example. Now you can add more information to this. All right? She keeps doing X zero every day because she wants what? She wants to be in form. No, I don't know. To be, to be in see? shape, okay? To be in, in shape. shape. Right. All right? Very good, guys. Okay? All right? She keeps doing exercise every day because, because she wants to be in shape, okay? She, wanted, she wants to... To uh, does she want to build arms or does she want to build uh to build legs? I mean, she can. We can. You know, women can build whatever they want, right? But usually, what is it that that uh, you work out for, right? So she wants to because she wants to be in shape, um, or you can say because she wants to build up legs, right? Right. So uh, she wants to increase. You know the muscle mass, okay? Anyways, all right, so let's take a look at the examples down below. Um, let's see, Alejandro Castillo, would you please help me read, sir? How do you read, how do you read? Just help me read this. How, I was gonna say, how do you read? No, uh, just let me, let me, 
Okay. Let me hear you. Everything keeps burning and the alarm keeps going off. Very good, guys. Okay, right. So everything keeps burning, burning. Okay. So these guys, when, how, or when, guys, could we use this? Everything keeps burning. When could we use? Could we use this? Should, could we? Could could we use this when we're cooking, for example? Maybe. All right. So very good. So see that is that a problem? That everything keeps burning. Yeah. Is that a All right? Problem? That is a problem, guys. Right. Very good. Um, very good. Why is that a problem? Because it's burning. <laughs> because, okay, you want to eat, happen right? in that moment. All right, very good, okay? Very good, okay? So the point here, guys, is that I want you to notice that this is a verb, this is a verb, this is a verb, and this is a verb too. Actually, the second one is, um, is a phrasal verb, okay? So the important part here is that we are not using two in between. Remember, guys, when we have two ver verbs together, we usually use two, right? Now, in that case, guys, all right, listen to that. When we have two verbs together, guys, what do we usually do when we have two verbs together? What do we do, guys? We, we add two. Very good, okay. You say he, for example, he likes to dance, right? Or they want to listen or to hear, right? They want to hear, right? So what are the verbs that we have here? This and this, Thank right? You. But what is different here, guys? Why can I say they, right? Let's use the example here, right? They keep to, to burn. Ah, in right. This case, it's not Garen. All right. So this is a verb. Is this a verb, guys? Keep. Yes, it is a verb, right? Yes. All right. Is this a verb? Yes. Yes. All right, guys. Okay. So with these specific <laughs> verbs, guys, we only use gerunds. Okay. All right. So that is the rule, guys. If you're gonna use keep or need, you need to use gerunds. Okay. You never use infinitives, okay? Regular infinitives, okay? All right. So, for example, guys, you cannot, you, uh, you can say here, right? If you want to, if you want to use the same verb here, guys, okay? But with keep, they keep Aaron, They keep what? They keep hearing, all right? All right, very good, guys, very good, okay? Everything will make sense in a moment, okay? All right, guys, so uh, two things that we have learned so far, all right? Uh, verbs, <clears throat> number one, guys, verbs are together by infinitives, okay? Right? But keep and need, guys, can only use, keep and need can only use gerunds, okay? All right, write that down, guys. Okay, I'm gonna ask you later today. All right, keep and eat can only use gerunds. Any questions so far, guys? All right, very good. All right, so let's uh, we're gonna we're gonna delve into uh, these into more you know into into the details about this later on, guys. But let's take a look at the other example. When when do we use need and a gerund? Right? How do we how do we uh, why do we use it? Uh, let's see, Janet, help me read. The oven needs adjusting. The oven, repeat, the oven. The oven needs adjusting. Need ad adjusting. Needs. Needs adjusting. Adjusting, all right? Very good, okay? All right, the oven needs adjusting, okay? So that what happens here, guys, all right, you have need and you and have a gerund, okay? So notice, keep. Need and a gerund, need. gerund, okay? Now, uh, can I say everything needs burning? Let's take a look at this example right here. Can I say everything needs burning? 
Yes, we can. Yes, you can. It is grammatically correct. However, it doesn't mean the same. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not makes sense. Well, it Needs does make warning. sense. I mean, if, if you're if you're well, if you're crazy and you want the, the world to burn, then it makes sense. Now, it also makes sense, right? If you if you're talking about um, a bunch of wood, you know, you want to burn wood, you and then we say everything is burning, you know, all right. So grammatically, right, regarding grammar, yes, it makes sense, guys. Okay, all right, good job. Thank you, Myrna. Thank you, Janet. All right, now let's take a look at the other example, right? The alarm next fits needs fixing, right? Now the oven needs adjusting and the alarm needs fixing. Are these problems? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, these are problems, right? Very good. Now, when I say need plus passive infinitive, now let's take a look at the passive infinitive, guys. What is this? What is adjusted and fixed? In what tense is that, guys? Is that present, past, or past participle? Well, not tense, guys, past, but form. Passive infinitive. Past participle, right? Very good. So, what makes it an infinitive, guys, is this to be adjusted, to be fixed, okay? Write it down, okay? Passive infinitive, to be plus, plus past participle, all right? Write it down, guys, okay? So, passive infinitive equals to be plus past participle, okay? For example, to be, give me a verb, guys. Give me a verb. Slip. Well, uh, to be, to be, um, to be slept, that, that would be, all right, that, that cannot be used, okay? That verb cannot be used there, but you can say uh, to be loved, to be, um, to be, let's talk about a, a state, okay? Bored. To be bored, very good, to be bored, not bored, bored. Bored. To be bored, what else? Rained. To be what? Excited. Excited, excited. Okay, to be excited, right? Very good. Okay, so there you have three examples. Okay, all right. So that's how you, you use it, right? In this case, guys, the oven needs adjusting. All right, you'll notice that they mean the same thing. Okay, but let's move on, guys. Okay, those were the examples. So let's take a look at this conversation, guys. Okay, so somebody help me read. All right, two people help me read here, guys, and you're gonna tell me, everybody else will tell me where to find the gerunds and past and infinitives if there are any here. Okay. So who'd like to help me read, guys? Who's going to be Mrs. Miss Locke and who's going to be Miss Bird? All right, let me choose. Me? I don't All right. know. Uh, Myrna. All right, Myrna. I got Myrna and who's going to be? All right, so Myrna, uh, you're going to be Miss Locke and who's going to be Mir B M uh, Mr. Burr? Me. All right, very good. All right, so I got Janet and Myrna, right? So, all okay. right, Myrna, I don't know if you can see it. If you can't, try your best because I can't zoom it, zoom it in. All right, but uh, let's go. Okay, so the conversation is right here. All right, so Myrna, let's start. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Luck. This is a Jeff Burrow. Oh, Mr. Burr. In apartment 35. 305. 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? That's uh, can't see. That's refrigerator. That's that. It, it should say that's that refrigerator. That's that refrigerator need fixing again. No, it's open this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning every time I try to cook. Really. Okay, I have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Miss Luck. Oh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your keep cooking? <laughs> All right, good job, guys. <laughs> Plus, Myrna and Janet. Well done, Myrna and Janet. Mm -hmm. All right, great job. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Juan Hernandez, can you identify any gerunds or passive infinitives here? No one, all right, Salomon Aguirre, all right? Can you identify any infinitives? I mean, any gerunds or passive infinitives here? The gerund refrigerator needs fixing is uh, in gerund. 
All right, refrigerator needs fixing, okay? All right. Uh, need fixing, okay, very good. Uh, very good, what else? Uh, let's see, Lenin Portillo, what else how, can we find here? <clears throat> Did we find anything else? Um, uh, the last one, uh, you're cooking. You're cooking, very good, okay, all right, you're cooking, all right, very good. Blanca, all right, Blanca, can you identify another one? Do we have any? Um, do we have any uh, past infinitive? Um. Uh, it is worse. Uh, is a small. I am. Uh, I. Oh, it's I, too small. I'm not looking. <laughs> all right, all right. No, I understand. Thank you. Right. Let's see. Let's go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Francisco, all right, Francisco, all right, can we identify another one? Good evening, everyone. Um, yes, what I see with the infinitive is uh, temperature control needs to be adjusted. Very good, needs to be adjusted. Well done, sir, it needs to be adjusted. Do we have another one? It's burning. It's burning, okay, all right, burning. Where is it? It's burning. Uh, needs burn. Okay, yeah, right over here, right? Very good. All right, good job, guys. Right? Is there another one, or is that all? That's all. That's all. Okay, very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, to guys. Cook? I'm sorry. No. What was that? Uh, I try to cook. I try to cook. Where is that? Uh, everything I try to to cook. Uh. But that's everything, not every, every, everything I try to cook. Yeah, but this is a regular infinity, right? Very good. You're, you're good. All right, very good, guys. So we identified gerunds, guys, and we identified one. Um, we identified one in, uh, passive infinity, right? Very good. So notice, guys, that every time that we use, I, I, I gave you this answer before, right? So every time that we use a passive infinity, we're using what, guys? What is the structure of a passive infinity? Jocelyn, what is the structure of a passive infinity? To be. To be plus. To be and plus the passive participle. Participle. Past participle, not passive. Past participle. Okay, good job. Right. Well done, Jocelyn. Good job. Right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. Let's move on, guys. All right, so uh, do me a favor, guys. Everybody, everybody, write down this example, okay? All right, and uh, let's see, let's see, who wants to help me with this? Uh, Miguel Franco, thank you very much, Miguel. So let's go over here. Oh, uh, I think I think your microphone is not working. No, we can't hear you. All right, try try to fix it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have Irena. Irena, all right, would you please help me read Irena? Yes, teacher. Keep plus gerunds. A gerund follows the verb keep when. It refers to a repetitive action. Very good, For okay. Uh, all right, leave, leave it there, leave it there. Thank you okay. very much, right, Irina? Very good, okay. Now, let me help you guys. Guys, with pronunciation, I'm just, just going to quickly help you with the pronunciation here, okay? Guys, try to try to extend the, wor the, the words, okay? Extend the words, guys, okay? In English, you have to extend the words. Do not use the same accent as the one you use in Spanish, okay? Don't say, as you run, follows the verb, no. A gerund follows the verb, right? A gerund follows the verb when uh, keep when it refers to a repetitive action okay so that's how you should read it a gerund follows the verb all right see i'm extending the word guys okay all right all right so uh let's try one more time Irina. i just want to help you okay, with your pronunciation huh? a gerund follows the verb no. keep when that's right. A gerund, do the same thing as I'm doing. A gerund. A gerund. All right. A gerund follows the verb. A gerund follows the verb. 
keep when well, it refers a, ger a gerund follows the verb keep when it uh -huh. refers to a it refers to a repetitive action. A repetitive action. Repe repetitive action. Repetitive. Repetitive. All right, very good. All right, yes. The the R the R is not r, it's r, r, right. Repetitive. repetitive action. Right. Very good. All right. Good job. That was much better. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Much understandable. Um. Now, guys, okay, right, so uh, let's take a look at the example down here, okay? So when we say uh, keep styling, guys, okay, is this some something, guys, that is, you know, something repetitive? Yes or no? If I say, you know, my teacher keeps telling me to learn my verbs, is that, am I telling you guys? Repetitive. Am I, all right, am I telling you guys this almost every day? Am I telling you this, you know, multiple times frequently? All right. So very good, guys. So when, what what is it, guys? What is it that I am uh, that? What is the action that I'm repeating, guys? That that I'm constantly repeating. You are telling. All right, telling you guys. Okay, right. The action that the teacher is repeating is telling you. Okay, so he has to tell you, hey, come to class every day. Hey, let's learn this, right? So my, then my teacher keeps telling me to come every day. My teacher keeps telling me, you know, to participate, right? All right, very good, guys, okay? So, this is something that you have to remember, guys. All right? Repetitive action, guys, okay, all right? So, uh, keep, I mean, the, when we talk about the verb keep, guys, it talks about a repetitive action, all right? What does it talk about, guys? Repetitive action. All right, it talks about a repetitive action, okay? Help me read the this one, Luis Molina. What, what number? Uh, her what siblings number? keep uh -huh. fighting over the TV. Her siblings keep, fi keep fighting over the TV, right? Her siblings keep her fighting siblings. over the TV. Her siblings right. keep fighting over the, the TV. All right, very good. So what is the, what is the, the repetitive action here, guys? Fighting. Fighting, right? So they do this perhaps every day. So here, guys, you can, you know, you can use some, adverbs of frequency if you want right anyways questions so far guys any questions so far can you repeat it all <laughs> can i repeat it all okay well all right actually you you do it okay sure. if all right so tell us okay uh all right i think what what part is difficult uh, rafael i think i don't know everything everything, everything what, is, what specifically don't worry, you're gonna you're gonna practice, okay? I know that this might not make sense right now, but once you practice, it will make sense, okay? All right. So um, there, are, out of this, guys, you only have to learn two things, okay? So let me ask you. You'll see that you understood, Rafael. So, so why do we use keep? Why? No. I don't, I don't understand. You don't understand what? Your question. The question or, or my English? Both things. All right, very good. Okay. My question is <coughs> why, okay, or mm -hmm. what do we use keep for? Why mm -hmm. do we use keep? All right. I right, keep. Oh Jesus Christ! Four, okay. What when do we use neither, keep for? Hmm. When neither. Uh, you sure when we'll make a repetitive action. There you go, right, Janet? See, you understood, right? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Luis. Uh, the structure uh, grammatical said that that they keep class a year on, right? Yes, is, right. Uh -huh. In this case, uh, my teacher keeps telling. Teacher, not teacher. Teacher, teacher. No. <laughs> Can you teacher. say chucho? Can you say chucho? Chucho. See, you don't say chucho, right? So if you can say chucho, you can say teacher, right? Teacher. No, not teacher. Teacher. Like chucho. Uh, there you go. All right. Teacher. No, okay. nothing. All right. There you go. All right. Just keep going. <laughs> okay. Teacher. 
Teacher. Okay. Teacher. <laughs> Let's continue, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, my, in my opinion, is that the structure when uh, when we 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 use a, a keep forward and it refers to re repetitive action and and this in this case, for example. In this case, uh, my teacher keeps telling me, right? And I suppose that that the repetitive action it keeps telling. And, Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Very good, guys. So repetitive actions. Okay. Do me a favor, guys. Okay. Let's let's let me do a quick quiz right now. Okay. All right. Answer these questions, guys, in the chat room. All right. I need you to answer them in the chat room okay? okay all right so um like this guys okay all right so question number one why do we use keep plus a verb for all right so answer that question right i already gave you that question all right so everybody everybody send me your answer okay so what do we use it for and number two guys Give me an example, all right? That's what you have to do, okay? Tell me what we use keep for and give me an example. If you can answer those two questions, then you understood. Well, the other one is not a question, but yeah. We use keep when need to say repetitive action. Yes, when we talk about repetitive when we want to describe something that is repetitive, right? Okay. My teacher told me every time how to say teacher. All right, very good, okay. My teacher kept keep, telling me. Keep telling or, me. Or keeps, right, if you're talking in the present. Keep. Keeps telling me how to say teacher, right? Okay. Very good. All right, so, so far I have only Alejandro. My car keeps fixing the cooler. So, so I right, take a look at that sentence, Alejandro. My car keeps fixing the cooler. So who's who's doing that action, Alejandro? Who Sorry, is excuse me, teacher. No, tell me, Myrna. Uh, where do you did you um, write the questions? In the chat room. But WhatsApp or here? No, 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 here. I I I can't see that. I don't have it. Oh, either. okay, right. I I okay. I maybe for some you reason, for some send... reason I just sent it to to um to Alejandro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you, Marina. Thank you for bringing that up. All right. It's just I have everything in French, guys. <laughs> All right, very good. So why do we use keep and plus a verb for and provide me with your example, okay? So Jocelyn says, when refers to repetitive action, all right? Uh, when it refers to repetitive action, my brother keeps bothering me. Very good, right? My brother keeps bothering me. Alejandro, I was telling you, your sentence says this, mi carro um, sigue arreglando el cooler. So that's what it says in Spanish. El carro seems like, is that a person? Is el carro a person, right? Uh, the, me the mechanic is a correct teacher. The mechanic keep fix, all right. That, that mechanic would be yes, all right. That would be great, right? It's okay. That mechanic Thanks. keeps fixing the cooler or the car, right? Yes. Um, <clears throat> very good. Francisco, we keep, we keep to identify, why are we using an infinitive? Francisco, remember, right? We use keep plus gerunds only. That's that's the first rule that I told you, right? Keep plus gerunds, okay? Keep plus gerunds, keep plus gerunds. Remember that, guys. So we use... Okay. Uh, oh, no, no, no. You were giving me the, the reason why, right? The reason why we use keep. We use keep to identify a problem. All right, that's good, all right? I understand what you meant now. Thank you. Try to oh, the, uh, do this, Francisco. Uh, it's actually correct. The uh, when you're sending, yes, your I guess, right? Try to use quotation marks like this, 
You use keep. That's what I have understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you, got you, got you. All right. Okay. Uh, there you go, man. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Miguel, he refers to a repetitive action. The computer keeps freezing. Good job, Alejandro. Repetitive actions. My mother keeps cooking me breakfast every day before I left home. Before I leave home, right? Not left. Um, if this is something that happens to you every day, right? Uh, my wife keeps cooking the same dinner every night. Very good. Uh, Irena, my mother keeps telling me not to eat much. Very good. Uh, T -t 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 we use uh, Marina, we use keep when we have a uh, repetitive action. Example, my mom keeps cooking for for my lunch. No, my mom keeps keeps cooking uh, lunch for me or keeps cooking me lunch. Okay. Uh, Luis, the park keep fixing the field. Okay, now it's third person, right? When it is third, when it is third person, guys, you need to add an S to the verb, right? In most scenarios. Now, el parque sigue arreglando el campo. I don't get that. Uh, but the structure would be correct after third person, right? Uh, Janet, uh, my mom keeps telling me, all right, to not use, okay, you should say to not use or not to use. Where is it? Uh, my mom is telling not to use a lot, not to use my cell phone too much. Okay, a blanket. My internet keeps on stable. Keeps okay. My internet keeps being or keeps uh, having problems. Okay. Uh, Kalena, we use keep plus verb when we are, when we repeatedly say an action. Example: My mom keeps telling me not to come back early. Very good, Alejandro. He keeps drinking the medicine right now. Good job, guys. Okay. Most of your example, 80% of you guys gave me great examples and everybody answered the right question. Okay. So, which tells me that you understood this. Very good, guys. And applause for you guys. Beautiful. Right. Beautiful, beautiful job. Okay. So, uh, we need to, we need to uh, run, guys. So, your turn. Okay. So, now, guys, what you're going to be doing, guys, is this. Um, you're going to answer this question. Now, who'd like to help me read? Over here. here. Go ahead. What do you usually keep doing after meeting someone new? Very good. What do you usually keep doing after meeting someone new, right? An example, guys, I usually keep talking. See, I usually keep talking to that person. Then we run into disagreements and we argue. Uh, we keep arguing until the problem is solved, right? So what am I saying here, guys? Right, uh, usualmente sigo, right, este sigo hablando con esa persona, después, eh, cor, eh, I don't know how to translate this, okay, but después eh, nos encontramos con desacuerdos y, desacuerdos. Seguimos, y, y seguimos discutiendo, um, seguimos discutiendo hasta que el problema es resuelto, right, so that's what it says here, guys, okay, so that, that's one example, now, we're going to couple you up, guys, and we're going to practice this for five minutes, okay? Because I need to help you with the platform, all right? Sounds good? Please. All right. Let's go, guys. Okay, five minutes. No mistakes, guys, okay? I'm going to be checking on you guys, and of course, I'm going to be helping you, right? So let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm going to send you the, the image, guys, to the WhatsApp group as well. Rafael, hello, sir. Are you there? Teacher, I have to leave in this moment. Oh, you have to leave? All right, man. No, no, yeah. no don't problem. Uh, don't, don't worry. All right. Sorry, I was going to say, don't problem. All right. I'll, I'll, upload, I'll, I'll upload the class so you can take a look at it tomorrow. Okay. All right. Okay, take care, teacher. man. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think we have to take samples. So, I 
right, picture. who's gonna start? Okay, okay. Can, 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 you, uh, can you tell us, please? Uh, because uh, I honestly wasn't 100% uh, in attention when you said that we're gonna do the, the breakout rooms. I sent you the instructions and the presentation and the question uh, to the WhatsApp group. So the instructions oh, okay. are. Okay, let me check. Yes. Everything is in the WhatsApp group. I'll come back, okay? I'm going to check on the other guys. But uh, the instructions are there, right? What do you usually keep doing after meeting someone new? And you have to answer that question. That's it. Teacher okay. help. Okay, I'm going to have. Oh, okay. Right. When, after I meet in a person, to, it's to keep uh, talking to this uh, person. And sometimes uh, we make agreement and sometimes uh, we don't. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good job. All right. Very good. Good answer. Miguel, what do you think, Miguel? Uh, usually when I use uh, someone new, I meet. Uh, Usually, when I meet, when I meet uh, and, uh, someone new, mm -hmm. we usually keep talking uh, about the uh, what he do or what he does. What they do or what they, I mean, what they do. What they do, and yes. then if, if we if we have something to discuss, we um, try to solve the problem. You and try to solve the problem, uh huh? I, we try to solve the problem and and do the things, fix it, and, and work work on. All right, good job, good job. All right, awesome. That's awesome. Okay, all right, uh, Jocelyn. Uh, in my case, I usually stay, keep uh, to be quiet because I'm a keeps little bit to, shy. Keeps to be. <laughs> To be quiet. Sorry. No, 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 no. Guys, what's wrong there? What's wrong with keeps to be? It's not a gerund. Exactly. Keep only gerund, okay? Only gerund. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. Let me <laughs> think about it. You can say keep being, right? Being. All right. Oh, okay. I keep being quiet. All right. Okay. Sigo siendo callada, right? I keep being quiet. Okay, I usually keep being quiet until he brings up a topic of conversation or something like that. Okay, nice, All right? Practice, okay, just continue. Thank you, okay. you guys are awesome. Good job. Maybe it's keep... Keeps us. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys, any questions? Hi. Uh, yeah. We we, are we don't understand that. Keep. Yeah, we are practicing uh, keeps and some repetitive actions, but we don't know that it was the point of the um this the meeting apart. I had a meeting apart. Yeah, I sent you, I sent you the instructions to the WhatsApp group. Uh, you need to talk. There is a question there, and and, and oh. yes, there is a question there, and I I yeah. It's a question I mentioned in the class, okay? All right. Oh, how is everybody doing? Uh, time, no, 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 no. Time, no, no, no. It says your turn. What do you usually keep doing after meeting someone new? Oh, I keep talking to that person. I keep, you know, hanging okay. around with that person, you know? Okay. Well, usually, if the new person is friend of my friends, I usually keep the, uh, talking with. Yeah. Very good. I usually we, keep talking to or use other verbs, right? Use different verbs, not only talking. I, I am usually keeps talking them. We usually get usually keeps getting in contact, maybe. Very good, right? I usually keep getting in contact with them. Very good, right? What else? Um, um, keeps sending sending her or him messages. All right, maybe. All right, continue. Right, that's that's okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. And I. Metapan is okay. I have some friends from Metapan. Really? Yes, and in work in 
in a, another factory in front of the loom, Santa Ana plant. It's a from methane plant. All right, good job, guys. Uh, questions? Any questions? You guys good? It's okay, teacher. Everything okay? All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, continue then. I'm gonna check on the other groups. Okay. All good, girls? Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. Pretty good? Uh, my head. No, because in this moment, uh, the Zoom uh, made me out to the I kicked you out to the meeting and don't understand. Oh, okay, right. I sent the instructions to the WhatsApp group. Okay. All right, but it's almost time to, to, to go back. So, uh, but I'll give you a couple, I'll give you two more minutes, okay? But uh, you, you're just supposed to talk about the topic that I sent you in the WhatsApp group. All right. Good job, girls. Hi, guys. Everything good? Hello, guys. Everything good? Uh, teacher, I can... Um, uh, you can't listen to Irina? Yeah, no. Maybe, oh. maybe she have a trouble with your microphone. I think. Okay, I'm gonna move you into a different room. Although we're about to go back. Okay. Hello, guys. Everything good? Yeah. Uh, teacher, I apologize because uh, there are two of me. One in, by the cell phone and one by the computer because the cell phone had the camera and you put me with uh, to talk with oh, okay. the boy. I'm, I really apologize, but I, no, I don't okay. have audio on the cell. That's okay, I understand that, don't worry, okay. We're, we have to go back now though. All right, okay. thank you, thank you for letting me know. All right, guys, nice. Okay, guys, so anyways, uh, good practice, guys. Okay, now, guys, tell me, is it clear now? Clear as, is it clear as water or clear as coffee? Sure. <laughs> okay, so how, how do you feel, right? Now, was it was it modern, more understandable now? Remember, because I was, uh, I think, guys, that, listen, I have, I've noticed something, guys, okay? I've noticed that we have issues understanding my English. <laughs> I talk slow, guys. I, I really talk slow, all right? But don't <laughs> worry, guys. You are going to get used to this, okay? Right? The more you listen to me, the more you're gonna, your ears are going to get to, you know, how I sound, okay? Entre más me escuchan en inglés, guys, más se van a acostumbrar sus oídos, right? So it's, it's normal, right? Do not get frustrated, guys, because I, I gave you instructions and then everybody was asking me about the instructions, but that's because of the listening, because I explained it, right? Anyways, guys, let's take a look at, uh, I, don't, I really don't have much time because I have another class. Um, I'm going to help you with the answers, okay? So, uh, one thing is, I'll give you the answers. I always help, I will always help you with the answers here in that class, okay? Not, and the reason why, I guess, is because you need to come to class, all right? If you don't know the answer because you didn't come to class, watch the video, all right? But, or come to class, okay? All right, but you need to attend class so you can, um, so you can know the answers, okay? Anyways, okay, so we did this one already, all right? So we're not gonna do this one, all right? Listening exercise, okay? Now the listening exercise, guys, I don't, I don't think that you ran into issues with this. Do we all have the listening exercise, guys? Answers, yes? Yes. All right, very good. Then we have the knowledge check 1.8, okay? Did we have did we have any issue here? I did. Right? Did uh, no 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 issues here? No problems here? No. No. Okay, all right. Then we have the listening exercise here. Uh did we have any issues here? Yeah. Which one? Yeah, in this part I have problem. Which one? 2 3 Yeah. 
All right, so I, I don't have that vocabulary. So okay. when I hear, I don't know what it's it. Okay, let me ask you something, guys. Very good. That's okay. That's that's absolutely understandable. Where can you find the vocabulary here, Lenny? Uh, sorry. Yeah. Where where do we find the vocabulary? Uh, where? Yes. Uh, where in the platform? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> let me add, let me add. Well, okay, that means this. Did you watch this video? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Do you see where it says here? Question. Electronics. Okay. So the vocabulary is there, sir. All right. So when you have issues, guys, the, everything is related, guys. We're not going to give you vocabulary that you don't know about, right? Vocabulary is here. So you were supposed to watch. You're supposed to watch all the videos, guys. Please watch the videos, right? Because then you... But, yeah. But, uh, in the second list, what this person repair, I hear that he repairs uh, roll it back. Watches. But no, okay, that that's just the first. Let, guys, I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Lenin. All right, I apologize. Lo siento por interrumpirte. I'm so sorry. I don't have time right now. All right. Okay. So, but I'll give you the answers. Okay. All right. Tomorrow. So, uh, so these are the answers, guys. No, right now. Okay. You can say watches or watches, right? This is the number one. Number two, they need a new battery, right? Take a screenshot or something, guys, okay? I would recommend you to take a screenshot, okay? All right, okay. all of these all right, are accepted answers, okay? Number three, luggage. Right, oh, yeah. luggage, all right, luggage, okay? Number, well, in the next ones, okay? With the wheels, the wheels or the wheels with the period of the end, right? Household, okay? <laughs> All right. Very good, guys. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Good night. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any other question, guys? Any other question? <laughs> no. Good. Good like tonight, now. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It, uh, uh, it's true, you know. I have another class in coming. Like, tengo una clase que exactamente tengo que empezar a las nueve. So, okay. you know, <laughs> guys, it's been okay. it's been a pleasure seeing you guys. Any other questions, right? Uh, asking the, okay. on the WhatsApp group. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Too, guys. Good night.